Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So the CDHO had mentioned about a week ago that for those of you who do have to write your portfolio, and if you are audited, it is those people whose um, um, CDHO numbers end in two or six. So if that's you, it's not me, but if that is you, then you do have to submit your portfolio by next year. So um, January, 2009. Now, if you need help, I can help you. Now, I wrote my portfolio pretty much when they first start, well, not when they first started doing it, but pretty much the first year I graduated. So as a dental hygienist, oh goodness, I think about six or seven years ago now, I can't remember. I've been in the profession for about 13 years, almost 14 years. So I've been a hygienist um, for about seven years, I believe, and I became a restorative hygienist about two years ago. So I've been doing a little bit of everything, but I was audited pretty much right away. And it's not hard, but the main thing is you do have to be organized. If you are organized, it makes all the difference. What I did is I had the best intentions of being organized, but I wasn't. And then I had to end up doing my portfolio pretty much every day. I was working on it about two months before Christmas because I wanted it done before Christmas. And you know, life happens. So even if you have the best of intentions to get it done, you might not. But I do find that it does help so much if you do a little bit every single month. So that's why I have the um, portfolio workshop because I will I will actually help you guys sort of stay organized and give you um, ideas of what to work on every single month. Plus, I will also sh um, show you guys where the online um, webinars are that you don't have to pay for because they are out there, but you have to know where to look. And you need high quality ones also, because if you just simply watch something on um, YouTube and want that to be part of your continuing education, the um, CDHO will not accept that. So it does have to be by a proper source. So I can help you with that. So um, let me just share my, my um, screen here and I will show you guys sort of a look inside um, the portfolio workshop. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Um, can everybody see my screen? Okay, so this is what it looks like if you are a member. So you pretty much have full access to everything. I do upload new webinars about once a month and I will actually also show you guys how to do every single part um, inside your um, smile portal because when that first came out a couple years ago people got quite confused so it made sense that I would show you guys how to do exactly what you have to do including your self-assessment so as you guys can see there's lots here but more specifically if you go up to the link here uh, the webinars Where's my webinars here? You will see that there's tons added and I do add new ones every single month. So these are for think your study. Um, if you got together with other um, dental hygienists, let's say, and you were all talking about something, this is part of your um, continuing education but you do have to source it properly. So I can also help you there, but there's tons here. So you will never have to think, okay, I need to know where to look for the webinars. I need to have ideas of my learning activities, my additional activities. How do I put that in my portfolio? Because I do help you with everything. Let's see. So there's tons here, as you guys can see, like tons, tons, tons. And I do add new ones about every single month. Um, so there will be a lot more, of course. And there's another link to look at here where if you're not sure how to um, do something, I do show you guys exactly how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's just if you don't know how, then you don't know how, right? So that's where I, I am more than happy to help you guys. Um, and I do have some exercises to help you out also. Um, because with the CDHO, they look at, at everything. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. So if you're um, trying to put something in there that doesn't make sense, they will see that. Or if you try to write a goal that is similar to another one, they will not accept it. So you do have to be careful. 
so um, yeah, you guys, so let me just stop sharing my screen for a second here again. So this is where if you want to do your portfolio properly and not have to worry about not knowing what you're supposed to do, I make it pretty easy for you because I am there to help. I am there to help you guys answer any questions. Um, if you're not sure how to do something, if you're like, well, I don't know if this sounds right, I will let you know. And the nice thing is, is at the end of the year, if you're thinking, you know, um, can you just have a look at my portfolio to see if I'm on the right track? Yes, I can help you with that. So I can look at the whole thing and I pretty much find errors in everybody's portfolios that I've looked at, to be honest. There's usually nothing major, but there's usually a bunch of tiny things that if they add up, the um, CDHO will say to you, you know what, you just have to do your portfolio again because this isn't adding up, like it doesn't make sense. So if you let me look at it first, then I can save you guys a lot of trouble and a lot of stress. So I am happy to help. So I think I answered most of the common questions. I've been doing um, the portfolio workshop now for about, I'd say about four years and I, and I have helped a lot. Um, and to say that too, um, every one who has been a part of um, the, port for, uh, the, the portfolio workshop, from what I've been told anyway, they have passed their portfolio, 100%. So I, I know what I'm, I'm doing and I am so happy to help. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know um, because it doesn't have to be stressful. It does not have to be, it just helps to be organized. So if you guys need anything, just let me know and I will see you guys very, very soon.